Hi, I'm Jules from Design On Your Pocket and today I'm going to show you how to create this motion effect animation video right inside Canva using match and move transitions. And as you can see, there are quite a few different um, motion effects I've got going on and transitions and I really want to break it down and show you step by step how I created it. Uh, so first of all, we start off um, and I've just added some text here um, at the start. And what I also did was, uh, I'm just going to copy this text so that I can show you um, the kind of important parts of transitions and things. Um, I'm going to change the color of the background here. And what I did was I searched in images for a uh, gin bottle I just typed in to see what search kind I wanted one that was really um, flat front on that I could easily remove the background from and I used this one here and then I just quickly removed the background. Now as a designer for many many years oh my goodness the background remover for me just saves me so much time when I used to have to sit and painfully cut pass out in Photoshop. So I love the background remover. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to turn this around and have it just ever so slightly peeking on the page here. And then I'm going to drag and copy. So what we can do is we can just use the red guide here to make sure we are exactly in the middle. And then I'm going to copy a third one swivel it around in the opposite direction and then find the center line again. So then we need to duplicate this page and on the next page we can remove the text and this time we're going to move the bottles all the way in like so. And this time we want to add a little transition between the page. So we're going to use match and move and we can change the duration and timings, but I'm actually quite happy with leaving it as it is just now. Um, I'm also going to reduce down the timing of each slide here. I'm going to make that shorter so when we just drag that timeline across you can see that we now have this timeline oh should have mentioned this already has typewriter effect for the word time just on enter and then the word gin has the fade animate and it's on enter as well There we go, we can see the first transition. Then we will duplicate the page again and we will remove two of the gin bottles. And this one, we're going to make it upright and enlarge it up a little bit. Like so, just have it kind of come off the edge. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to pinch the text for gin and add in. I'm going to change the colour of the background this time to the light blue and also make this text white. Let me make the text a bit bigger. And again I need to add in the transition, match and move. Now when we just drag the timeline across. You can now see the transition with the top bottle now merging down the larger size at the bottom. Then the next stage we are going to duplicate this one again and this time remove the bottle and move the word gin down to the middle of the page and we're going to go up to effects and use the hollow effect and we're going to slim the thickness of the outline down to two so it's really fine. And you guessed it, we're going to have the match and move so that we can see the transition now of the text sliding down um, and changing to the outline. Now, once we copy this page again, um, we are going to add a video 
I tape in lemons splashing in water. So we've got some lemons splashing in the water. I'm going to drag that across into our background. Now this is quite a long video so I'm going to crop it right down to just a couple of seconds. So I'm going to crop it just before the first lemon appears and then just make it a couple of seconds long. Change the gin back to removing the effect so it becomes um, solid again and now when you can see the film comes in the transition there starts to fill in the word gin again. Next one, remove the effect so that that is solid and I'm going to change the colour. We're going to go for nice yellowy cream this time and change the word to the blue. I'm going to word cocktail and change it to the dark blue. And because this text is new, we need to add an animation. And I'm going to use the typewriter. Now when I go back over the timeline for this transition, you can see it starts with just the gin cocktail text and then we have the gin bottle and the lemon glass appearing on this page but it means we actually have to add these elements to the first screen even though you don't see them so that they can merge into the next slide. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if I grab a copy of the gin bottle and I'm going to reduce it down in size. And we're going to have the gin sitting here at the start. I'm going to search for a gin glass. I'm going to use this one so that I can easily remove the background from it. Like so. And shrink it down in size a little bit so that it sits nicely with the gin bottle. Now what we're going to do is have them appear. Now it's, it's, it's easier to leave a little um, blank edge so that they don't disappear off the canvas completely and we can grab them for the next slide. So we're going to just sit that here like so. Then we will duplicate the page again and this time we're going to then move the hidden elements inside and move the text out of the way and shrink it down in size to the top right and we also need to add our gradient backgrounds. Add the gradient we just need to grab a shape and have it going across the whole page and we've got to the colour box and we can select our gradients at the bottom to change it. We can now have the colour going from top to bottom and I want to remove one of the colours so it's transparent so I'm just going to drag this all the way down to zero so we can now see the background colour popping through and for this one I'm going to make this a bit darker pop it down the bottom and then I'll go to our layers just so I can move it down to sit just above the background like so. And again, because we've added tra transition, you'll see that it starts to come in like so. And if I play it and it's a little fast, oh, that's actually all right, but if I wanted to change the speed, then I could move the duration up so it takes a bit longer to transition over. And again, I'm just going to shorten these down because I want each transition to be really quick. Okay, so if I just go through these first few pages, you can see mm. how that's all starting to look. We've got our moving transitions, the videos, and then back to our slide in there. Okay, this one, I want to have um, these two elements here transitioning sliding off the screen but just to show 
there's a bit of difference with the backgrounds here. I'm going to change the colour and change this colour to white. And then again, when I select these, I'm going to have them just popping off the screen here so that when they transition, they transition and slide across the screen like so. The last part of the video is going to have this layered effect with the gin in an outline and solid colour behind the glass. So we have to do a bit of background removal um, for the video, which I'll show you how to do as well, and introduce a wee bit of timing elements into the video for the text as well, because it doesn't appear at the beginning of this slide. I'll just show you here. If I click on the text and go to show timings, you can see that the text appears a couple of seconds after the start of the video. Okay, so this last B part is a little trickier and there's quite a few steps to it, but I'll break it down for you step by step. Start by duplicating the last page and I'm going to remove the gradient to add in the video that I've just got from the library and it was this one here and we're going to drop it in and again this is a really long video so I am going to trim this down quite a bit. We are going to animate these and I'm going to fade but this time we're going to fade on the exit not on the enter and we're going to slow that down. We are going to copy this word gin and enlarge it up in size have it sitting in the middle and again we're going to make this the hollow effect but we don't want it to appear right at the start of this timeline so we are going to right click and show timing and we're just going to move it along a little um, and we also want to have it appear to fade on enter duplicate this page and we're going to trim this down to one second and in the second video we have to take a second off down to 3.7 so that we don't see the first second of this video here it smoothly transitions into the next video change the timing here we don't want it to be right to the end of the video so if we just have it for up to 0.7 and the same with gin down to 0.7 and i'm just going to check that this is slowly coming into the video too now we want to create the learning effect with the text and the video so first of all we're going to enlarge our text so that it's just edging off of either edge and we're going to copy and paste and we're going to remove the effect so that we have the clear outline then what we want to do is copy the video and this time we're going to remove the background of the video so it just leaves us with the glass and the lime and things and we're going to make sure it sits exactly over at the top of the other video and then we need to go to our layers and we need to bring the outline text to the top and then make sure that this video layer sits in between the two text layers but above the background layer and when you play that you can see that videos all sit in front of one another in alignment. When we add the word um, refreshing in there what we want to do is show timing and we're going to have this not appearing from the very start but coming in a few seconds in and it's going to come in with a nice little burst effect on the enter so that when we play this part you can see go to a favorite place in and I just want to check that the last couple of slides are transitioning correctly and they are. So now when we play the video through you can see that all the transitionings are working 
and you're happy with the timing and the speeds which you can adjust if you need to between each individual slide. But now if you want to add in the beat sync feature, I'm going to show you how to do that just now. First of all, we're going to go into our audio down our toolbar on the left hand side and I want quite an upbeat fun kind of song. So I'm going to go into filter down to fun. And I think we'll try this one. So I'm just going to drag it across and add it to my timeline and make it start from the beginning. But if we play this, that music's working really quite well. However, if we go up to the top here, we now have a thing called the beat sync. And what we can now do is we switch this toggle on and it has now changed the speeds and some of the transition times of our video. So I'm going to go ahead and play that and see how that's sounding now. Now I find that is a little slow for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see if I can shorten these with the markers. Okay, I felt that song didn't really mix that well. It was far too long between the transitions. So I went back in and I've selected a dance track and I have added the beat sync feature to it. And so with the beat sync feature, it helped me line up all of the um, transitions. However, I felt they were still a bit slow. So then I've manually went in and just shortened some of the transitions that I wanted to work really quickly. So I'll just see you, show you the finished effect with the, the music in it now as well. I'm stressed out 24 7, babe. No, no timeouts. Wish we could fly away. I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial and going through the step-by-step -step motions on how to create that Canva animation. And I will be doing lots more tutorials, so do make sure you are following for more.